concerns is that as, uh, as the world gets hotter, the bushland will become more prone to wildfire and we will have more severe wildfire that could have a really significant impact on our city. We also have a beautiful mountain and a very short distance between our mountain and our river. So it means that although we don't have a lot of major floods, when we do get a lot of rain, it moves very quickly. Science is first, so we have to have a very good relationship with the climate scientists and we do draw on their knowledge and their research to inform our understanding of what we need to do. Uh, we also work with our emergency services and we're also trying to ensure that the resource of our community who are really concerned about climate change and we want to turn their concern into practical action so that they can help with the solutions and then we also, of course, as a council, need to ensure that the infrastructure we're building is ready for the future. The City of Hobart has been taking action to reduce the emissions of our council for over 20 years. And the important steps we've taken to do that is to ensure that we understand where our emissions are coming from, and then to set ambitious targets. And then the third key piece is obviously to take action. We've installed a lot of solar panels on our public buildings and our sporting facilities and saved over a million dollars a year in electricity costs. We're also uh, doing more work with our communities to improve uh, the public transport and uh, improving electric vehicle charging infrastructure uh, is a really key part of the work that we need to do as well. Thank you.